So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I get a job in Grant Cardone's office here in Miami. Um, so if you're curious about how I did that, or maybe you're thinking, thinking about getting a job with Grant, you might find this video interesting. So just keep watching. So if you're watching this video or you found it in search, you probably know who Grant Cardone is, but if you don't, I'm going to give you a quick little summary. He is a sales expert, entrepreneur, real estate investor, um, best-selling author of the 10x rule which um, is a really popular book for motivation and entrepreneurship um, and he's pretty well known for that mostly and he has a big YouTube channel like if you don't know who he is I would say he's probably someone like a Dave Ramsey type personality except what he preaches is pretty much the exact opposite of Dave Ramsey but he tries to um, do a lot related to sales and business motivation and training. I'll leave his link below so if you're curious or want to know more about him or learn more about him um, you can check out his YouTube channel. I think he has over a million subscribers now um, and has grown quite a lot in the last few years so definitely check him out if you're curious. So this is how it all started, how I ended up finding Grant and getting a job in his office uh, here in Miami. So in 2017 I had just come back from Spain and I didn't really want to teach anymore. I knew that in my heart um, and I was getting interested in real estate and learning more about sales and business development and I really didn't know like exactly what path I wanted to go on that but I knew I was interested in that. So of course I was checking Craigslist all the time and other websites for jobs. Just any kind of job which I just like piqued my interest. Um, just doing research and one day I came across an advertisement for a receptionist front desk manager in Grant Cardone's office and the name had rung a bell but I didn't really know that much about him I just knew he had a YouTube channel and at the time in 20, 2017 I was just starting this channel for the most part and I had come across some of his videos and I thought okay that would be pretty cool to work with someone who's really involved with YouTube but honestly, besides that, I really didn't know that much about him. So to apply, it's super. it was super easy for me anyways. Um, you just had to send your resume and a 60 second video explaining why you would be good for the position. And I already had a lot of experience making videos uh, for my YouTube channel. So for me, it was pretty easy to make the 60 second video. I'll try to include um, a link or a little clip of it. Hi Grant, my name is Lindsay Jordan and I'm applying to be the front desk manager at your Aventura, Florida location and I actually reached out to you on your YouTube channel the other day and I mentioned that I was applying and to put in a good word for me so here I am. So at the time, since I didn't really know that much about Grant, I just started watching like a bunch of his YouTube videos, um, especially like on job interviews, salary negotiation and just different skills just to kind of familiarize myself with who he was and get get to know a little bit more about him so I felt like I could make a good video that would resonate with whoever was watching it and whoever does the hiring. So after I watched several of his YouTube videos um, I, I wrote out a script for myself and I recorded it several times and practiced it so it sounded like pretty smooth and after that I felt pretty confident in it um, getting it under 60 seconds. Another thing that I did when I was applying was I would like leave some comments on his YouTube channel like his new videos and um, and at the time like I saw that he responded back and he was like oh what value can you bring to position and I was thinking to myself well it's like a receptionist like <laughs> like how hard can it be kind of in my mind but I was you know I just wrote something out whatever and um, I was like oh I hope he reads it. Later after I got the job I realized like probably a dozen people have access to his YouTube channel to leave comments uh, like with his under his name. Um, so probably was not him who actually wrote that comment but at the time like I thought it was him like talking to me directly I was like oh my god. So I ended up hearing back pretty fast I think within 24 hours of sending my resume and video in and they said they were interested in and uh, interested in, in interviewing me I think it was like a Friday. And they said, hey, can you come in on Monday, which actually happened to be Memorial Day, but they were like, oh, we are definitely going to be here working. Um, so just come in at nine on Memorial Day. So I went in on Monday, all dressed up, ready to go. And the first thing they do at 9 a.m. is they have like a big group meeting. And if you've seen any of his videos, he's often talking in this group morning meeting a lot. Um, it usually lasts for like 10, 15 minutes. 
Um, just kind of reviewing things for the day and, and wins from the day before. Um, but also at this point, like, I didn't know anybody, but they, like, kind of introduced me to everyone. And uh, I was a little nervous, um, but it turned out fine. So after the morning meeting at 9 o'clock, I went straight to my interview with Grant's COO. Um, her name is Sherry Hamilton. She's, like, keeps everything running in the whole operation, pretty much. Uh, so I interviewed first with her and another manager. And honestly, it was a great interview. I felt like it was super professional. Their questions were reasonable. And I was I felt really good after it. And I felt really comfortable with the people who were there. And um, I had a really good feeling about it. So Sherry Hamilton, come to find out, um, I think she was assistant for Tom Cruise for a little while. Um, and Grant like really wanted her to come work for him. And so finally, I think she's been with Grant for probably five or six years or more, maybe. But she is an amazing manager. And honestly, like just to work with her, I didn't really know Grant at the time so much, but just like things like everything she said was just like the perfect phrase, like the best response. And I just feel like she's a great leader beyond just being like a boss. So working with her for me was a real privilege and I really enjoyed like every moment. So in the interview, they also kind of reviewed some of the things I would do um, on a day-to-day -day basis beyond being a receptionist, which really was only like 5% of my job. Um, I did like tech support, customer service, sales, office tours. I stocked Grant's mini fridge in his studio, um, watering plants, like a little bit of everything was kind of involved in this position. Um, and they kind of went over a lot of those things with me and I felt like I said really good about it and after I left um, Probably an hour or two later. Um, I got an email from them asking if um, If I would join the team like they were ready to hire me. So the whole process was really fast and Honestly, I don't even think they asked for any references or called any references I think they just kind of more judge you like on your personality, your character, your past experiences, um, work experience. And I think like after being a teacher for 10 years and doing a couple other positions and having made a YouTube channel, like they saw that I would be like a good candidate for this position. Um, I do think that they hire from out of state as well, especially maybe for like the sales team and other departments as well. Um, my position, you know, I just happen to be local, living really close to the office and actually working in the area already. So I was really familiar with that area. Um, but if you're looking to like try and get hired from out of state, um, I do think it's possible. And I do think they like to hire from out of state for certain positions because I feel like you're more likely to stick to the position if you move from out of, out of state because you're kind of more committed to the job. Like you're not just going to join and quit after you've got an apartment and you've moved and you made a lot of investment into the position. Um, so I do think they're definitely open to out of state positions as well, or people who are trying to apply from out of state. So after I accepted the contract and signed everything and like, uh, emailed it back to them, I actually started just a couple of days later. So it was like a really fast process within less than a week. I can't say that all positions are that fast. Um, for sales, it might be different for different positions, but for them, like, I think for receptionists, it's not something that you really have to like look around too hard for. Um, so I think that's why it was easy for me to be hired fast. But if it's a more seniority type of position, um, it might take longer. So that was in general how I got my job in Grant Cardone's office. It was pretty straightforward, pretty fast and simple. Um, but if you're curious on what it was like working there and the whole experience, I'm going to be sharing that in a future video. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. If you have any questions about what it was like or any comments you want to make, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to those. And be sure to check out the end screen for more videos. Thanks so much for watching.